Hi, Jenny Stone here from HR Shield with your HR Rescue. Each day we get hundreds of questions from our clients and other small and mid-sized business owners about some of the most common HR issues. We figured if they have those questions, you might too. So let's provide a lifeline and share our answers to some of the most common scenarios. Does the idea of a workplace injury, accident, or fatality scare you? Employers have a legal responsibility to protect their employees from a range of dangers, and under occupational health and safety legislation, the onus is on employers to carry out due diligence by conducting workplace hazard assessments and implementing effective control measures to remedy any hazards that might have been identified as part of this process. If you were on the witness stand, and the government attorneys were asking you about your safety program, compliance, and enforcement, could you answer the following with confidence? Are you familiar with your company's safety program? Do you discipline employees for not following the rules of your safety program? How can you prove that? Do you conduct periodic safety audits to ensure employees are following your safety program and being safe? Why not? Today, I'm going to share four things that will help you be prepared, stay diligent, and protect your business before tragedy strikes. Your safety program. It's more than a general safety statement in your employee handbook. Create a separate safety handbook that emphasizes the hazards your employees encounter most often. Make sure the policy is readable, understandable, and accessible to your employees. Get your supervisors on board with fully embracing the policy and its enforcement. Safety training. Who does your safety training? Are they qualified? Do you give safety training both at the point of hire and on a recurring basis? Classroom training alone is not enough. Demonstrations are key. Effective training and education can be provided outside a formal classroom setting. Peer-to-peer -peer training, on-the-job training, and worksite demonstrations can be effective in conveying safety concepts, ensuring understanding of hazards and their controls, and promoting good work practices. Enforcement. The best safety program and the best safety training will fail without enforcement. If you are not writing up your employees and supervisors for failing to follow the safety program and training, you cannot show that you take safety seriously. Maintain a separate safety violations file. Auditing. Do you have regularly scheduled auditing of your safety program? If you do, your employees will always appear to be following your safety program because they expect you and you are actively observing. Random unannounced is the only way to go. This is critical to having an effective workplace safety program. Creating an effective workplace training program requires care and planning, but will reward your organization and employees with a safe and productive workplace. As always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and you can always email us for more information at support at hr-shield.com.